Hey guys, so some of you may have seen my video about the five dangers of Mexico that people are not warning you about. This is by far the most controversial and polarizing video on my channel to date. People either loved it or hated it. And from what I can tell, the difference between those two groups seems to fall largely on how people feel about Mexico. In the comments section of that video, people warned me about all kinds of things that I forgot to include in my video. The cartel, food poisoning, inadvertently eating dog meat from street vendors, and the list goes on. Now I've given these comments a lot of thought and I've realized you're right. People need to hear these warnings. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some of these comments so that these people can warn you about Mexico in their own words. And I think by the end of this video, you'll understand why I think maybe the wall is not a bad idea after all. Valkyrie Garner reminds me, you forgot to mention the dangers of being murdered in the streets and the cartels, etc., etc., etc. I knew I was forgetting something. Alex Carino warns, if you keep eating tacos sooner or later, you'll eat dog meat. Alex Chua writes, stray dogs are common in developing and third world countries. In Cancun, Chinese restaurants were raided as they were selling cat's meats on their food. Michael Whitlow writes, We'll lose weight because the tacos bring stuff out with them the next day that you didn't eat in Mexico. Sideways laughing face, sideways laughing face. C. Smithy writes, You forgot about getting robbed, getting your head cut off because you mistakenly got mixed up in drug cartel crap. Oh, everyone is dressed nice, then they live in a cardboard box, WTF. Dogs, you're eating them from that taco stand you think is so delicious. LDC Big One says, I've never seen a poorly dressed drug lord. Really? No thanks, I'll stay in the good old messed up USA. Big Boy wonders, why do Mexicans keep coming here if it's so great there? Tizaz Arizona asks, why are they all coming to the US illegally? Oh, hey guys, the next caravan's leaving in five minutes. Oh, okay, hold on, I gotta go. Brian J. Schumer wants me to talk about the real dangers. Drug gangs, dirty water, beggars, looking down on American women like they are easy prey. Motorbikes running over everything and poor sewage. You're not cute or funny at all. Frank Bishop writes, cute but not helpful. Dog follows you home? Okay, but what about the drug cartel soldier who follows you home? Carlos Carrillo writes, I thought this video was about real dangers of living in Mexico and not a spoof of your likes or visits to the Mexican country. Danger number one, Mexico is full of Mexicans. They are dirty, unsanitary crooks, uneducated, and they will steal anything that is not bolted to the ground. Danger number two, Mexico is full of Mexicans. See above description and repeat five times. Symbolic Logic 24 writes, name redacted. Well, no one is forced to stay in America. Things must not be that great in Mexico. It's not Caucasians storming the US-Mexico border. Lol. Cameraman 655 replies, Symbolic Logic 24, bingo. Mexico is a whole. <laughs> India is nicer than Mexico, and that is saying something. Julianos, Julianos, writes, name redacted, you just don't like the smell of truth, which is like roses, rose emoji, 
because you are too used to the smell of Mexico, which is like smiling poop emoji, yellow finger pointing emoji, laughing emoji. So all in all, I think it's clear. Let's get this wall built. You stay on your side, and I'll be over here, suffering on this side. Okay guys, if you made it this far in the video, you are probably the type of person who gets what I'm doing here. Hopefully all the trolls stopped watching at the 30 second mark and they're too busy leaving their comments to make it this far in the video so that you and I can sit down for some real talk. Uh, before I made the five dangers video, I actually had another video that I had wanted to make but I ran out of time to make it before we left for Mexico City and Costa Rica. The Five Dangers video was faster and easier to make, so it got done first. Um, the other video that I wanted to make was a commentary about how we visitors and expats talk about the safety situation in Mexico. Because to be honest, we all know that there's a crime problem in this country. The murder rate in 2018 was record-breaking in Mexico. It's a real situation, it's very serious, and I worry that videos like mine make light of it because the people who are affected by crime in Mexico are, by and large, Mexicans. It's not the expats or the tourists or the YouTubers, it's not me, it's not my family, and I don't wanna make light of that. So this tension, bothers me a lot. And I wanna have that conversation with you guys because the regular audience from my channel, the people who come back and watch video after video, the people who have been supporting and encouraging me, those people, you guys, are respectful, intelligent, thoughtful, considerate, and you have fascinating and insightful things to say. So this conversation is one that I wanna have with you guys. However, that conversation is gonna need to wait a little bit until all this mess dies down. Because reading these comments and others about Mexico and the Mexican people ticks me off so bad. I cannot stand it. This country has been so good to us. The Mexican people have been so welcoming and generous and warm to us. And to read the hateful, ignorant things that people say about Mexico and Mexicans just drives me batty. Look, you and I both know that Mexico isn't perfect. It doesn't have to be. No country on the face of the planet is perfect. Utopia doesn't exist. And this isn't news to you or to me, any thinking person already knows that and does not need to have it validated by a YouTuber. But I believe that my family has a better life here than we had elsewhere, and I can't think of a higher compliment than that. So Mexico, I love you, thank you, and if you don't like this country, then stay out. More tacos for me. And if you want to hear about how Mexico is a horrible place full of terrible people out to get you, then please do not subscribe to my channel. Peace.